Hello everyone, Dr. Rose here. I'm coming to you on a rare Saturday morning um, because whenever I have one of those weeks in session where the majority of my therapy sessions um, and piggyback that with the majority of my conversation with friends seem to center around the same topic, I always like to come to you guys and just offer some perspective because something tells me that it's something a lot of us are going through or a lot of people are experiencing. So this week's common theme was relationships. And the question that seemed to come out so very often was why does it seem like when everything's going so well in this relationship, he or she does something that just trips it up. And I wanna to come to you and offer perspective with that. And this is gonna be real quick. I want you to understand that most people, most humans, pretty much, I'll say all humans, I'll go out on a limb. We seek balance. We seek balance. We seek homeostasis in relationships. But what most of us fail to realize is that for a lot of people, balance means chaos. Balance doesn't mean all those good feelings. For a lot of people, their balance, their norm, their homeostasis is a state of chaos. So when things are going well in the relationship, they have to do something to trip it up because that's their norm. They don't understand that that good feeling part is something that they could strive for because that's not been their reality for so long. So I want, I'd like to give the example of even you think about frequencies or you think about um, just being in balance with each other. So these are two people in a relationship. This could be intimate relationships. This could be family relationships, friendships, or whatever. This is what relationships have to look like. They have to be on the same frequency. We could say the same radio station. You know, somebody's on 92.3 and someone's on 97.9. There's a big disconnect there. So people need to be on the same frequency to be in balance with each other. Again, the problem is for some people that frequency is chaos. And if your frequency is 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 balance and, and bliss and love and all those good feeling emotions. You're here and that person's here. So in order for y'all to get into balance, somebody has to either move to that next frequency or move to another one. And I'll tell you this, it's so much easier for somebody to knock us off our element and go to that level that feels good to them than for us to, or for them to uh, do something that's completely out of their norm and come up to a, a frequency that doesn't feel comfortable to them. It's a frequency they weren't used to even seeing growing up. So when you ask yourself, why does it always seem like I get knocked off my square? Why does it seem like when things are going well, things fall all apart? It's because you two are not in frequency with each other and you cannot pull a person to that frequency you want them to be at. So I want to challenge this, you guys with this. Even in the, my book, Bloom, Seven Steps of Personal Transformation, this is a page 95. You can see there, those good feeling emotions there, bliss, joy, love, passion, happiness, the bad feeling emotion, boredom, frustration, hate, worry. There are people who this is their norm. This is their default setting. This is what they wake up to every morning. Then there are people, this is their norm. This is their default setting. This is what they wake up to every morning. These two people get together, it's going to constantly be like this. You'll never have an experience where you guys are always on this frequency of uh, where each person wants to be. And it's going to be a constant tug of war. Come over to my side of, of dysfunction. No, come over to my side of what feels good. So stop trying to change people and understand this is what's going on in those dynamics there. If you choose to be on a frequency that feels good to you, and it's a frequency of the enthusiasm, optimism, excitement, contentment, stay there, stay there. Understand that this person, this is a subconscious thing. They need you to come where they are because that's what feels normal to them. And stop doing it. You're not going to change them. You're not going to change a person's station. So if you choose to be at this higher level frequency of conscious, just awareness, stay there. This is good around the holiday times, too, because you're going to be in situations where people are going to try to knock you out your element. Like Kendrick Lamar said, don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. Understand this is the dynamic that's going on there. When you keep asking that question, that's why. And you need to just come to some type of just... Um, agreement within yourself that your goal is to always be at that level of frequency that feels good to you. That's it. Made it quick for you guys. Tell me what you think about it. Share my video. Go to my website. Join the coaching group starting in January. Have a great holiday. You guys be safe and enjoy. Don't let anybody knock you off your element.